I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. Welcome to the week 18 edition of Back to the Futures on the Hammer.bat. Go to the Hammer.bat right now. Well, after you watch this. Then go to the Hammer.bet for all your sports betting needs across all sports. Remember to smash the like, sub to the channel, forward progress right now on the Hammer HQ. Because we have the finale of the season-long competition between Jeff Feinberg and Tim Andercus. Head-to-head future portfolios. There has been no winner as of yet. But uh, there will be next week because everything is probably going to end up being closed. And I think Jeff is the only one with awards tickets right now. So, Jeff, we'll start with you. What are you adding? You're just going to, like, try to pad it in? Are you laying up in the fairway here? Yeah, it probably ends up being a bit of a layup. And, no, Tim has an awards ticket. He made the absolute worst awards oh, bet yeah, you can right. make. And I tried to warn him as he was making it. He, he ate all that Dan Campbell smoke at plus 175. Well, I took Dable at 30, which actually has a pulse, and he should win Coach of the Year. Imagine, the same if, week. imagine if Seattle lose and Detroit win on Sunday night. And they basically carry Dan Campbell off the field as he wins in Lambeau to He's, put the Lions what, hold in the on. playoffs. What is he, a Jets kicker? I'm just saying, like, how great would it be if the, the that that's the last thing we see of the season and the votes go in and uh, Dan Campbell wins the award? You'll Dan- get your plus one seventy five, and I'll say congratulations, Tim. You know, you know what? If you think that's possible, you should make Dan Campbell to win Coach of the Year. Your pick this week at forty to one. I'm not going to do that. So a few weeks ago, I took the Patriots. I actually have a season long bet on the Patriots under eight and a half wins. I would like to hit that bet. I'd like to hit the future suggestion I made here a few weeks ago at plus money. But also at plus money now, I'm going to bet the Patriots or take the Patriots to make the playoffs plus 150. If they win, they are in. Um, I guess this can be really silly because there's some logistical situation where that game might not happen. So I'm not trying to intentionally ruin our segment, but uh, (laughs) that that is where I'm going with it. I also believe even in the event I think week 18 goes on as normal, the Bills are just not really going to be all there. Patriots get that win. They settle the AFC wildcard race. They make the playoffs plus 150. All right. Tim, are you taking a big swing here to try to catch up all in one shot? I don't think I need to. I think I'm going to get the Seattle to make the playoffs one. And I think I'm going to get the Washington under one. And I think that's going to put me in a position where I'm probably going to get the W. I mean, unless the Texans win and the Bears lose, then I feel like you can't win. I don't think that's true. I mean, what was Seattle to make the playoffs? Like 8-1? to one? Something like that. Yeah, and Bears to have the worst record. I think when Jeff bet it was 14-1. to one. I don't I, 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 I don't know. I think I've I got some other ones that are in the hopper, too. I am going to take a, a, a swing, though. Uh, it's not a like a massive swing, but it is a swing. Uh, it goes along with my super lock. I'll take the Lions a plus nine hundred to make the playoffs. Is that what it is? Plus nine hundred. That needs. I need Seattle to lose, and I need Detroit to win. Uh, that's what I'm going to take. It seems pretty I reasonable. Te- yeah, I was tempted to take Miami a plus one twenty because I think there's an. I think that's also probably going to happen for them to make the playoffs. Uh whenever the Bills play the Patriots, I expect the Patriots to get destroyed. And uh, I think Miami's probably going to beat the Jets. So I think the Dolphins are are in at plus 120 as well. I actually think that's a really smart bet. The Dolphins are, you know, are, are the money line on the Dolphins is worse than plus 120. So betting the Dolphins make the playoffs at plus 120 is basically the same thing as betting the money line, in my opinion. That's crazy. Uh, to, to look at, it's funny that they're listed, and I'm looking at DraftKings Sportsbook right now. You're, you're right. The Lions to make the playoffs is 9-1, to one, but to bet the Lions-Rams parlay is only uh, plus 838. It's a good find. Yeah, so, well, thank you. 
Thank you. That's the way I finds gonna... plus EV at the grocery store. He finds plus EV on the <laughs> book. This guy just lives the life, baby. Value, 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 value. Except for last week when I got all that that so called closing line value on my super lock, and it was as uh, as valuable as that cake in my freezer that I'm gonna have to throw out in four months' time when no one comes to visit. But you got plus EV on the pick and the cake. That, look, nothing but look. I believe and believe in the plus EV lifestyle, uh, despite being mocked for it. Despite your teaser record, my teaser record, I think, is just slightly above. You won some money this year if you bet with me every week. Now you're down to five and fifteen. So I think this is a hinge week for you on the teasers. It is, yeah. And I mean, if people know, I've hit the pilgrim parlay several times. So that that's when you can chalk up every time. <laughs> that's true. All right, well, that will do it on the Week 18 edition of Back to the Futures on the Hammer.Bet. Thank you all for tuning in with us this year. I mean, we have to do a recap show to see who wins and discuss all of the bets. I'm sure that's coming sometime, probably next week. But for Jeff, for Tim, I'm Pat Mayo. We'll see you next time.